welcome to Sakana Syndicate. Thanks for tuning in to our first episode. Today we're on the west side of the Big Island, hunting Omilu, also known as Blue Fin Trevally. So I've been coming to this spot for at least a year and haven't caught any fish, so I'm really hoping today's the day I get that 10 pound Omilu. I decided to go at live bait, so I used a little fish called Kupipi. I casted out my pole, set my line, and the waiting game was on. Not even a few minutes later, that Kupipi got smashed. I thought this could finally be my chance at getting that big Omilu. These Omilu are super strong and super smart. The first chance they get, they're gonna try and cut my line on a coral head or a ledge. And because of that, I'm using 80 pound braided line spliced to 80 pound monofilament line. Once these fish feel the hook in their mouth, they're gonna go crazy. Their first initial run will be the strongest. If you can stop their first initial run and slowly tire them out, it'll make it a lot easier to pull them in. There's so many sharp rocks around, sometimes you only get one shot. After one year of fishing and not catching anything, I'm not gonna lie, this felt pretty sick. Wow. Look at the colors on this fish. Those electric blue spots are crazy. The epic fight this fish gave is something I will always remember and cherish. It's only fair that I pay this fish the ultimate respect by doing a Gyotaku impression. So my goal was to catch an Omilu weighing over 10 pounds. And I can't believe it, 12.7 pounds. That's the second biggest Omilu I've ever caught. First step in the Gyotaku process, wash. The slime from the fish can rot the paper in the long run, so it's best to remove all of it. Next step, dry. The water left on the fish will cause your paint to bleed, and instead of picking up fine detail and scales, will leave big splotchy marks. I know what you're thinking. Why is there a chunk missing from the Omilu's head? I put it in a tide pool for like 2 or 3 seconds and an eel got him. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta pay tax to the IRS. Internal Reef Service. Historically, Gyotaku is made with sumi ink. Sumi is made from the soot of pine branches. For my style of Gyotaku, I use acrylic paint. Creating your initial print is one of the most important parts of the Gyotaku process. This is the foundation that the rest of your Gyotaku impression will be based off of. So think of it as creating the outline for your coloring book. It needs to be solid. So a question I get a lot is how do you bend a flat piece of paper over a fish that's three-dimensional? The answer is with patience experience, and a little bit of creativity. Yeah. 
This part always gets me nervous. You only get one shot. So I've been doing gyotaku for 16 years. But every time I do a print, I learn something new. The never-ending pursuit of perfection is what keeps me drawn to this art form. Knowing that it will never be perfect, but trying your best anyway. Gyotaku has taught me a lot about seeing beauty in imperfection. It doesn't always have to be perfect to be beautiful. In this case, the omilu is missing part of its head. But that's where the human element comes into play. How do you get it to look right? What's given to you is not always going to be perfect, so it's up to the artist to make it happen. This is just the first step in my process. So with a dash of color and a little bit of creativity, watch this Omilu come back to life. So my personal approach to Gyotaku is finding the right balance of adding color and detail and leaving it naturally as it exists. As always with Gyotaku art, nothing is ever wasted. Let's see what we can do with this beautiful Omilu. Alright, let's get this bad boy cleaned and filleted. Omilu, also known as Bluefin Trevally, are members of the Jack family. Famous for their electric blue fins, spots, and aggressive nature. Omilu inhabit both inshore and offshore environments. Larger fish are often found in pairs and small schools. They hunt in areas such as bays, lagoons, and shallow reefs. In Hawaii, omilu weighing over 10 pounds are not very common and are considered a prize catch by many. The current Hawaii state record for largest omilu, set in 2007, stands at 28 pounds and 8 ounces. The meat from this omilu is clean, firm, and lean. We're gonna make a dish called Poisson Cru. Think of it kind of like a Tahitian style ceviche with fresh coconut milk. So technically, we could use coconut milk from a can, but that's boring. We're gonna do it the right way. Let's go check out Dane and see how he does it. With our dish, we're gonna use fresh coconut. I'll show you guys how we break coconuts without using like a spike or like a rebar. How Hawaiian used to go. There you go. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is just gonna keep bouncing on the ground and then you're gonna start noticing the husk starting to separate itself. It takes a, it takes a while, but you, just, you can start seeing it to come apart. But you, you want to break it up because you want it to start separating itself so that you can start peeling it. It's harder to peel it when it's a whole chunk, yeah? So you're kind of just breaking up the husk in pieces so that you can start shredding it by hand. The green is going to be easier. <laughs> Camping somewhere in Nomawada. Yeah, that's true. Coconut. Just put you as your hand. Find the tree. Now you guys know. I didn't know. <laughs> too bad. That was easy. Hey, Some water. I don't know. This is. I call this the top side where the 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 stem came out from. Mm -hmm. Because you do it from the bottom side, it's just rock solid. So you want to do it from. <clears throat> drop it down on the stem side. I'm 
Awesome crew. Yeah, baby. I'm just gonna bang right around and hopefully it cracks. Mm -hmm. Usually it does. Just kind of go hard. So you heard it cracking. You heard the different tones, so you start seeing it to crack. Oh, look at that. So. <laughs> We're all about efficiency, right? <laughs> People will use the tomato with the seed, but I don't care for it because it gets a little watery. So I'm just gonna take it out. But if you want to use it, it's up to you. Right, here's our amino I caught. Clean it up. Nice there. white meat. Nice white meat. I'm just gonna take some of the bloodline off because I don't really care for that. You can leave some though. So basically, we're gonna cut poke sized cubes with this. You don't want it to be too thin. I don't like using the tail, it tends to be really uh, tough and chewy.
bruh. Teamwork, bruh. Teamwork, bruh. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was kind of weird, bro. That was kind of weird, bro. That was kind of weird. Dude. Okay, so we're gonna take the fish, put it into our freshly squeezed lime juice. Add a little bit of Hawaiian salt. Dude. So the lime juice is gonna partially cook the fish. We're gonna put it in the fridge and let it chill for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna mix it with the rest of our stuff. So, just gonna put the salt down, just make a little salt bed so we can pull up our bowl, our coconut bowls. There you go. Let this sit in the fridge with the lime juice for 20 minutes. So it's partially cooked now. So we don't want all the lime juice. We're gonna strain some of it out. We're gonna leave a little bit, but we don't want too much. We're gonna mix in our vegetables. It's a nice color. Add a little bit of salt. Hard work. It's cooking on milk. It's a labor of love right there. Add this in. It was more work to do it and plate it this way. But you know what? That's what we're all about. Doing things the right way. And there she is. Omilu Posan crew with fresh coconut milk. This is our favorite part again. Taste time. Mm. I like how it's like clean tasting. Mm -hmm. And you can tell the difference between fresh coconut milk very well balanced. Yeah. You can taste the citrus, the crunch from the vegetables. Yeah. The partially cooked fish from the lime juice. Awesome. Oh. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to our episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and we'll see you on the next one.